I'm next weather meteorologist Dave Warren. We have an update here on the CBS News Miami stream on uh, Hurricane Helene. Now we're getting hourly updates now as this gets closer to the coastline and the wind is now up to 120 miles an hour. A Air, 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 Air Force Hurricane Hunter plane found increased wind here and the storm looks better organized. Uh, the eye trying to define itself here, so that means it may continue to intensify. It's running out of time here, moving pretty quick to the north northeast at 20 miles an hour uh, before it approaches that coastline. But right now, we're looking at a major hurricane uh, bearing down on the Big Bend, even the Nature Coast, as it continues to move north quickly here. It's picking up speed at 20 miles an hour. Uh, we've seen these squalls work their way through. Now, this one is about to move out, still putting some heavy rain down around Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach. Uh, but as it moves through, you get that strong gust of wind. Uh, the wind's been gusting close to 40. As these move through, you can get them cl gust closer to maybe 50 miles an hour. So uh, around Pompano Beach, there's the Sawgrass Expressway. It bends just off the coast there near Hollywood. Uh, there's Sunny Isles Beach. It is right off the coast where we're seeing a lightning strike and it's moving north at about 40 miles an hour. So this back edge here uh, will quickly be out of the area. Then we're getting another break here uh, between these squalls. Uh, the uh, rain showers continue to spread east there, uh, moving just off the coast here. So it's cleared in Miami, right over the airport here. We're getting a bit of a break. Uh, the wind speeds, the gusts continue uh, at close to 50 miles an hour uh, here in uh, the uh, in the lower keys. Uh, 44 mile an hour wind gust in Marathon. And again, that squall just lifted through, so it's keeping the wind pretty strong there uh, right along the coast. But the wind speeds remain elevated. Uh, we still have the a few showers and maybe an isolated stronger storm moving through the area, but the center of the storm itself as that moves away. We'll watch this trail here. It looks to be weakening as it continues to move east, but that could give us another gusty shower or storm here this evening. Uh, we've had this tornado threat here throughout the day today. Uh, as the storm moves away, that will could diminish a bit, but the watch continues uh, till 8 o'clock here this evening. 8 to 9 o'clock tonight, maybe even closer to 10 along the Big Bend near Tallahassee, then uh, slowly working its way to the north and then spreading to the east, slowing down, putting a lot of rain over this over the same area here uh, over the the Tennessee River Valley. Wind speeds will begin to diminish. This is the first part of the improvement here uh, by six o'clock. They really start to calm down here overnight tonight. Still, by the time you wake up, though, Friday morning, it's still coming in from the south. So you're getting that water being pushed up there uh, right up against the uh, uh, the ocean side of the Keys. Still a bit gusty there in the afternoon and evening, but much calmer there uh, Friday night. Hurricane warning and tropical storm warnings remain in effect. Don't think these will change much. It's just a question of how much time till we discontinue these as the storm moves its way to the north and our wind speeds begin to diminish. Still seeing the surge problem 15 to 20 feet up north, one to three feet here uh, in the Keys, gradually seeing the surge amounts diminish uh, as it goes down towards Naples, but still a big problem right along the Gulf Coast there. And again, that's the ocean side that